Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, installing a secondary ADA horse mounting plate. Hi, this is David Weber with Dynon Avionics Tech Tip Video Series. In this video, we're going to show you proper installation of the secondary ADA HARS mounting plate. Let's get started. First of all, you need to gather up your tools. You're going to need a number one Phillips screwdriver, number two Phillips screwdriver, and a torque driver that is capable of adjusting to 8 and 10 inch pounds. Of course, you're also going to need your secondary ADA HARS mounting kit from Dynon Avionics, which has got all the hardware on the mounting plate inside of it. Okay. Let's first talk a little bit about proper installation of the ADA harness. When you do mount this, you want to make sure that you know the direction of flight has to be towards these brass inlets, that you need to mount it rigidly so that it's not subjected to a lot of vibration, and that you don't mount it in an area where magnetic interference can affect the magnetometer inside the unit. Of course, that doesn't apply if you're using the remote magnetometer. Okay, now let's get on to the installation of the kit. This has got a uh, warranty void sticker on here. We don't want to damage that or remove that sticker during the installation of this. Okay, So keep that in mind. First thing you want to do is you want to remove these number four pan head screws. I'm going to cheat a little bit and use an electric driver. You can take those and put them in your stash for something else later on. Okay. Now I'm going to take your mounting plate and note that it does have an orientation to it. It has four countersunk holes there that we're going to be using to put the countersunk screws in. We're only going to be using three of those holes though. Take your number 440 screws that are in your kit and put those in the holes. Go ahead and snug those up. All the hardware that we provide does have a thread locking patch on it, so you do not need to apply any Loctite or thread locker material. Okay, take your torque driver, set it to 8 inch pounds, and go ahead and tighten up those screws. Now, grab your second ADA harness and mount that and make sure that the orientation is correct, that you've got the brass to the brass and the connector to the connector here. Take your number eight pan head screws with the internal lock washer and go ahead and install those. All the material that we provide and hardware in the kit is non-ferrous. Again, we do that so that you don't affect the magnetometer inside the unit. It's not effective if you're using the remote magnetometer. Okay, we got those started. Gonna snug them up with the number two Phillips. And then I'm gonna come back with my torque driver and finish those up. Grab your torque driver and set that torque driver to 10 inch pounds now. Go ahead and snug those up. There, you've now completed the installation of the secondary ADR's mounting plate. You can find more of these tech tip videos linked through our website at dynonavionics.com. Go build. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.